Since 2010, I work as a software developer and I built many web applications. Flask is a really simple web framework and it's so simple and easy to use that you can create a web application with about 10 lines of code. It's a great framework for beginners because of its simplicity. You can get your website running in a few minutes. Hi everyone, my name is Marta and today I'm going to break down how you can create a web application using Flask and Python. Before we start, in case you find this video useful, make sure you subscribe and you will be notified when I post more videos. First thing you need to do is install two libraries, Flask and Flask Bootstrap. Now, all Flask and Bootstrap application is available for Python to use. Flask includes all web capabilities so your application can listen for web requests, receive the request and send the response. It also includes Jinja templating so you can build the website dynamically based on the data you want to return, like a list of products for instance. And Bootstrap includes styling, so instead of writing all CSS for the website, you get that out of the box. Second step is building a basic Flask application. You need to create a Python file and enter the following code. You will first import the Flask library, then you create a Flask object. Next, Use root to indicate which request you are listening to. In this case, we will listen for requests that contain the test myapp in the URL. Then return your test in the response, in this case hello world. And with the statement app.run, you are starting your web application that will listen for requests in port 5000. Now our application is ready, let's run it. If we go to the browser now, we shall see hello world. Next step is adding a web page to our application. Instead of just text, we could return something a bit more interesting like a web page. To do so, first we will create a template folder and add an index.html file which will contain our web page. Something to note here is that we will use the following tags. Those are Jinja tags. These Jinja tags allow you to insert some logic in the HTML. The two lines above help you to define the block of HTML where you will insert some logic. For now we just need those two tags. Also note that we are using classes in our HTML. Those are bootstrap styles. Check out the following website if you are not familiar with bootstrap. Now we will go to the Python file and change a couple of things. We need to import flash bootstrap and the render template function. And last, instead of returning text, we will return the HTML file that we just created. Now let's restart the application and go to the browser. And... Amazing! 
our website is now returning a web page. Last step is returning data. So instead of just static HTML, we are going to return a list of products. To do so, first we will create a function that will return a list of products. I will do this quickly. Now that we have our list of products, we will pass this to the render template. Next, we will need to add some logic in our HTML to render each of those products. In this case, we would like to have three rows in our table for each product. So we will add a for loop surrounding the table entry. And replace the value in each cell with the product attribute. That's all. Let's run the application and see what happens. Amazing, it works! We reached the end of the video. We have seen step by step how to create a website using Flask. I hope you enjoyed the video and in case you find it useful, please feel free to subscribe so you will get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching!